A report by the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime in Nigeria indicates that 14.4% of people aged between 15 and 64 years abuse drugs in the country. Against this backdrop, stakeholders in the educational sector have urged federal government to give formal recognition and support to the teaching of religion to reduce crime and promote societal values. Director of Ali Institute for Quran Memorization, Ustaz Ali Abdus Salam, made this call in Ibadan, said that the recognition would ensure youths are fed with required spiritual diet and it will in turn reduce crime and promote uprightness. Another stakeholder, Hassan Giwa, called on parents to avail their words with knowledge of the holy books as a child trained in the way of God will think twice before indulging in antisocial vices. You know, we have them busy with learning about what the Creator Allah wants from them, which is what is embedded in the Quran. The further they will, they will be from all the vices we are talking about. But the moment there is a disconnect between them and the message of our Creator Allah, which is in the Quran, then definitely we, are, we will be seeing what we are seeing now. The question is this youth, where exactly are they learning? They are only learning. I mean, to society, I mean, the social media. So if they continue to learn from the Quran, they continue to learn and hear what the Quran is passing as message, it will be impacting in their life. You know, the moral decadence actually start from home. If we parents are not able to gather, come together to give them the kind of training that is needed for them to live their life in the way that is actually suited uh, for everyone in the society. You know, they say charity begins at home. If we are able to educate them in a way that is actually expected, society will become better. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.